know she getting dicked down. Yo, scrawny ass ain't doing shit, nigga. Over a fucking fence, nigga. Black lives do matter, but some of this shit propaganda, man. Some of this is propaganda, man. They run into the police. There's a couple folks in the front. They leading this type of situation. That ain't the message we out here trying to push tonight. This is about rights. This ain't about trying to get your face on TV. Straight up, and I'm finna go front line, because I die for it. Can you say real quick while you're doing this? I don't have any masks, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm doing it for everybody. I'm doing it because Black Lives Matter. Uh, and no lives matter until Black Lives Matter. That's why.
you will be subject to arrest or use of force. Gassing the people. We don't need your fucking seven squad cars pulling up for one dude because you ain't got fucking shit else to spend your money on. Stop gambling. Hey, mustache looks like some huge. You must got a boyfriend with that mustache. Damn. No, right? No looters or anything like that. Not that I have heard. I have not heard about anything. All right, perfect. I can't speak for over there. I can't speak for across the fucking nation. I can't even speak for the next block over. You know what I mean? But I can say that these three officers that I just spoke to were able to have a mature conversation as an adult, a human to human interaction. Let me ask you this question. And I just simply ask them, what is your opinion on the current state of our judicial, judicial system within America? And I ask them, what do you, what is your opinion on justice reform. Now, I won't lie, two of the officers that I spoke to seem to like to dodge the question because I think that they fear that if they speak out, it's going to be seen as against their job or against their brothers or whatever. And I told him straight up, don't look over there, look at me. And those two officers replied and said, that currently, it's a mess. There's layers to our judicial system, to the first question. First question being, what does our judicial system look like to you personally as a human being? And the second question, both of them answered and said, the justice reform is something that they see as necessary for the continued peace within our country. If it doesn't, things will continue to not get worse, but get exposed, and people will get continue to get more and more angry, and that will get worse. And that's exactly what I appreciated. I was brought into tears speaking with the last officer because he actually gave me his postcard. Whether or not I reach out to him, I don't know. It's peace and change. You do understand there's a small group that were throwing rocks and breaking things, and that's not the majority of, of everyone that's out here. Unfortunately, they detract from the, the message you guys are out here giving. And we want to make sure that the message you guys have gets heard. Peaceful crowd. This is kind of what we'd hope to have tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Opportunity for people to express themselves, to gather. Um, there's been no violence. So, you know, this this is like kind of the perfect mm -hmm. and like, why, scenario for us. And like, can you explain what's blocked off right now? What's blocked off? Yeah. Well, for people mean, who don't pr know. Primarily just kind of what you see, the, you know, the Justice Center, part of the federal courthouse. It's one of the more relaxed nights so far. Well, so far this has been a, I, yeah, I mean, I, it's been a pretty good night.
fucking shit, bro. Fucking shit. Fuck 12, bro. Join four. Oh, God.